What a fine young man. It's nice meeting you. Thank yeah, you. welcome to my home. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, welcome. Just um, sit down and uh, feel at home. Thank you. So, mom, dad. Uh, duro, 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 bimbo, duro. Uh, he will speak for himself. Yeah, Bimbo. Kilode, what is it? Simile. Leave me alone, I beg. Can't I ask where my son to bring law? Come for it. And she wants to marry my daughter. Uh, anyways, um, I'm partly Igbo, though. My mom is Igbo and my dad is Delta. Um, okay. Um, so, how old are you? I'm just 31, sir. <laughs> yeah, Bimbo. What is it again? Where have you been all this while? I didn't marry and I want to marry my daughter. Ask me. Ah. Uh, anyway, um, you must forgive my wife. You know, uh, in uh, Yoruba land, if you are not married uh, between 25 and 27, you are old. Uh, that is why she's uh, making this statement. Uh, anyway, you don't understand where I'm from. At 31, I'm pretty much a baby to my age. <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby call. <laughs> baby in the. Anyway, um, don't mind me, Ojale. Uh, I want you to understand you are highly welcome in my home. Eh? You are highly welcome in my home. So just uh, make yourself comfortable and uh, feel relaxed. Uh, enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Okay. Anyway, sir, so, um, I, I really need to run along. I've been having lots of calls from the office. I need to go do some finishing touches.
exhausted. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. Okay, um, I just wanted to apologize about my mom, you know. My mom is such a bigot. You won't blame her though. Many people from her generation are still stuck on this whole tribe thing. Isn't my father older than her? Yeah, but your father has traveled more and seen how things work in the outside world. His mentality is different from hers. <sighs> this woman is trying to make life difficult for me and I can't just deal. I can't. <laughs> You're funny. It's going to be fine, alright? Babe, okay. I need to finish up one or two things here. Um, we'll talk later, yeah? Okay, babe. Let me allow you then. Alright. Alright, babe. Good night. I All love right. you. I love you more. Bye. Bye. <sighs> My baby. So, babe, uh -huh. there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Oh, what's that? You uh -huh. are an alcoholic. <laughs> you drink, Sha. I haven't thought you wanted to say something sweet. Okay, something sweet. Uh -huh. hmm. You beautiful. Uh -huh. Elegant, mm -hmm. hard-working, alcoholic. <laughs> you are so silly, Chibi. Anyways, thanks for always finding a way to make me laugh. Oh, honored. Yeah. <clears throat> babe. Yes, babe. Are you okay? No. It's my mom. Still on the bigo tree, eh? Yeah. Well, eventually she'll come around. And I'm sure if she doesn't come around, mm -hmm. Dad will understand why I had to kidnap you and run away with you. Basically. Please, Joe. Ah, can you be serious for once? <laughs> oh, there's a family doctor. Okay. Hi, doctor. Yeah, I'm fine. She's fine. Oh, okay. I'll tell her. He's fine and planning is going great. All right, doc. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Okay, that was the family doctor. He sent his regards. He said, how is your Igbo fiancé? Ah. He's a bygods too. Actually, mom was talking with him one time and you came up. It's alright. So what does it call about? Um, mom is planning on having a knee surgery before the wedding so she can boogie well, you know now. And he called to confirm the date because he couldn't reach on phone this evening, so. Okay. Yeah. I wish her speedy recovery. Thank you. I hope she would accept compliments from an Igbo boy. Hmm. <laughs> Team D. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 enough for the jokes. <laughs> Hello, babe. Babe, mom's surgery had a complication. Oh my god, what happened? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, relax, relax. Okay, I'm coming right to you, alright? Just, okay. just calm down. Um, okay, she's stable right now, but we definitely need to act very fast about it. Okay, now doctor, what really happened? Um, the surgery was successful, but her skin tissue was very, very, very soft. 
So in the course of the surgery, she lost a whole lot of blood because of cosmetics used. Oh my God. Yeah. What is this? But why can't I donate the blood that she needs? Oh my dear, you know, you just finished seeing your period. So your blood count is very low. Very, very low. But, but you can buy blood, yeah? Buy blood? Yeah. I don't think my mom will agree to that, though. Ah, if you blood buy goods, too. Sorry, hey. How about that? Lazy. He's out of town. And you're not even a match. Doctor, I'm yeah. positive. Can I donate? Yeah, sure. Medically, there's no reason why you should not be able to do that. But... Thank you so much, babe. I really do appreciate I mean, I wouldn't even dream of asking you. Seeing the way mom treats you. Thank you so very much. It's nothing, babe. Human life first, alright? Okay. So, Doctor, you said but. But what? You have to seek the approval of the family. See, Doctor, I am the only family member present at this time, and I say we are doing it. So please, where do I sign? Okay, if you say so, let's go. Sign here. Okay. Is that all? Okay. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Chidi, my son. Thank you so much for saving my life. When I was there fighting with my life on the sick bed, tribe and religion didn't matter to me anymore. <sighs> I was narrow minded and I was embarrassed. I'm so ashamed of myself. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's it's fine, ma. I, I feel really, really happy. This means a lot for my family. Mm -hmm. Ah, I wish so many people would find love like both of you did. Your home is already blessed. I love you. Mom, I am so proud of you. Thank you so much for your blessing. And may God keep you to see your great grandchildren. Amen. Amen. Ah. <laughs> this is wonderful and this is beautiful. <laughs> that, that, that means we can now start to make arrangements for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I hope you. <laughs> you fall in love with someone because of their personality, not because of their tribe. You are looking for someone who is honest and respectful, not someone who has the same political beliefs as you, or whose family is part of your own tribe. You want someone who can be themselves around you, not someone who has to check their identity at the door because they think it will offend you. You want a partner who will never try to change you or make you feel bad about yourself, but rather support your dreams and goals as they grow. <laughs>